Hello. Hello, friends. We are here. I was just finishing up. Quick little thing. How's everyone's day? Do 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 bum bum bum. Okay. Got a few things to discuss, and then uh, we're going to play a game for a little bit. See how this stream holds up. So, let's start with a little bit of hilarity. Share the screen. Do, 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 do. Good evening. So, uh, full disclosure, I had to do a stream uh, for Raid on Saturday, and I... Uh, I was a little too, it was a little too late at night and it was a little too, uh, I was a little too relaxed. Uh, and so <laughs> I've got a little makeup stream today. Yeah. Check. Okay, my audio is fine. I don't know. Yeah. What was the name of the bands I was in? Um, one was called The Funeral Song. One was called uh, Drago. One was called um, The Bending Spoons. One was called Sit a Spell. And then Ch the Champagne Saturday was one too. <laughs> yeah, I thought uh, I ended up privating that stream. I thought it probably wasn't a good look to be like completely out of it, uh, trying to do, uh, <laughs> uh, trying to do a, a showcase for for an important channel sponsor. <laughs> So I'm going to do a little bit of that tonight, showcase it. Uh, we're going to talk about some hilarious DC comic stuff, some Jordan Peele stuff, some uh, uh, Chris Rock, True Social. Tease and now your feet fell off. I mean, didn't you read the warnings? Yeah, it was not, it wasn't a great idea. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if you're in chat, there's a link in the description. And uh, it would be awesome if uh, you picked up the game or there's the QR code on the screen. And uh, get through the tutorial while we're streaming. So DC Comics artist Jorge Molina responds to the publisher's cartoonish edit of his Green Lantern-centric Titus United Blood Pact Hispanic Heritage Month variant cover. That's a long title. But hilariously, if you, if you think like, hey, these people are super woke, right? They're very progressive. Very progressive. How do you think that they would celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month? That's right. With a bag of zero gravity tamales. And then they put tamales on the bag. 
so that you know that they're tamales. You wouldn't know that just looking at them. Uh, obviously, I know they're tamales. I love tamales. And that just says Viva Mexico, and he's got a plastic bag of tamales. And here's the here's the actual artist, I believe. What are we doing here, DC? This is the cover you're going with for Hispanic Heritage Month? A floating bag of tamales in space? <laughs> this is this is like this is not a joke. It is not a joke. It's very real. And uh it's very hilarious. This is like the kind of stuff that like I don't know. Oh, nice. Straight up. After you try it, make sure you leave a review. I, I don't even know what the... What is this? What, what is this? Is this like progressive racism? It seems like it. And he writes, this is the actual cover art they're going with. DC Comics is a bunch of clowns. Jorge Molina created the original Titans United Blood Pack number one cover for Hispanic Heritage Month on the left, which is basically pretty sweet. We've got the Mexico flag. He's carrying his lantern. And this is the modern. This is the modern, the, the, uh, Reimagined. Wait, not robot. Reimagined. There we go. That's the reimagined version of this. <laughs> Much of the comments. This isn't even the worst I've seen for comics. This is a classic, a classic meme in, in response. Hola, Amix goes. I'm Sergio. I love fiestas and eat tacos. OMG, Latinx representation. I don't even know what like the the hilariously like racist alternative like it'd be like uh if if um it was a Japanese comic and they were like, "Oh yeah, for Japanese uh month, we're going to we're going to have Superman hold chopsticks. DC Comics artist Jorge Molina is less than thrilled with DC Comics after publisher repurposed his shelved Hispanic, Hispanic Heritage Month variant cover for the upcoming Titans United blood pack from a sweeping tribute to noted Mexican artist into a cartoonish tribute to performative diversity. Commissioned by DC Comics. Like, who drew that? Every time I see tamales, I think of like, there's AOC, hot, 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 like a tamale. Something like that. I mean, like, I didn't make a video on this because I didn't think it was like a big enough story, but it is pretty hilarious. If you're just tuning in, uh, I, I attempted to do my first stream in the new house to like, you know, introduce uh, Drago from Drago actually from uh, the band. My band name Drago was from uh, Rocky Four. <laughs> um. So I streamed on Saturday. I was not in great shape. So um, I owed uh, Raid Shadow Legends one stream. So while we talk about the news, there's a link in the description. It would be absolutely amazing if you uh, tried out the game and got through the tutorial and just played while we talked. They're a really strong sponsor and they don't bend the knee to a lot of the insanity out there. So I try to work a little extra hard. Now let's talk about this Jordan Peele thing.
Okay. Hot, 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 hot like a tamale! This shirt looks like crap on camera. That's, that's a grift. Oh, yeah. I've got to get, um, where do we finish off on Saturday? Okay, you guys tell me about the Samaritan because I'm afraid to watch it because people said it wasn't very good. I have this kind of a soft spot for Stallone. Uh, and I have a soft spot for Stallone, but I'm so over superhero movies. It's like a kid's show, but entertaining. The link for Raid isn't working. Let me check. Let me check. We're at 66 people. I got to get to 100. The link in the description doesn't work. It does work. I've tried it. Right? Can someone confirm? I'll put it in the pin comment too. It's a decent movie. Uh, Oh, get off my ass. You're pissed off about five seconds of dead air. Suck a butt. <laughs> welcome to my welcome to my live streams. <laughs> like legitimately. The link is in the description. I can see it. Okay. Um so let's get back after it here. Samaritan was fine. You'll enjoy it. Okay. Hey, Jeremy, much, how much do you think the increasing buying power of younger people has played in the degradation of our culture? Um, I mean, do you think that younger people have increased buying power? The link's not working. Come on. Really? Okay, it works fine. It works. Okay. Now, if like 500 people try it while we're hanging out here and get through the tutorial, um, I don't know what I'll do. I'll do something cool. Uh, it works. It works. It works. Okay, cool. So this, this article was, this article was not new. And for whatever reason, like, oh, wait, let me finish that. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm not disagreeing with you about like the buying power of the youth of Gen Z in particular, but I don't, I, is there, is there actually, um, is there actually evidence that says they have increased buying power? I feel like Gen Z is, is more broke than ever. Isn't Raid Shadow Legends a loot box? Or I don't, I've never put money into it and I have fun. I have it on my desktop and then I level up my characters that way or on my mobile phone. All, all mobile games have some um, element of, you know, money of all, but I've never felt like I needed to put any in. So I don't know. I guess if Gen Z has some sort of strong buying power that I'm unaware of. Uh, then yeah, I would probably guess that they are contributing to um, the degradation of our culture. But I also think that sometimes when you make a product, people don't know they want it until they want it, if that makes sense. And what, I'm, what I mean is, like, instead of catering constantly 
instead of catering constantly to Gen Z, right? It seems like so many financial decisions in Hollywood and in music and whatever, are there, nobody takes any risks anymore. Like nobody takes any more any risk anymore. So you have a bunch of people who uh, don't want to take any risk, and uh, so they just keep producing the same garbage. It's exactly why we have so many Marvel movies, so many superhero movies. They suck. Like I'll say, they they're entertaining popcorn films, but nobody is going to remember them in 20 years. Think of like your all time five, top five favorite movies. Are any of them Marvel movies? Do you ever pick out a Marvel movie and like say, oh, or it's like, you know, let's say it's November and you got some time off work. Are you ever like, I'm going to watch a Marvel movie again? I don't, I just don't think that happens. Rather, Dash has just made some HC001 hot cocoa town to watch a stream of the guy whose only gripe I have against his choice of NFL team. Hey, I appreciate you. Hey, Scott, thanks for joining as a member. You got kids starting at McDonald's, $15 to $25 an hour. And with that level of disposable income, they literally keep. Okay, that's actually a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, I just think that when I think of movies that are like, I watch every year, it's so rare. You know what, the, like the last movie I saw that I was like, oh, you know what, this is kind of an every year movie, it was actually 8-Bit Christmas. Did anybody watch that? It's basically like a reimagined Christmas story, but for like 90s and 80s kids. It's narrated by um, Neil Patrick Harris, and it was like pretty good. Like, I could definitely watch that movie once a year. And it had, like, all, like, the... All, like, the kind of core tenets that you would want in, like, a kind of a classic film. Artie says, uh, Weird, YouTube made me a partner again after two years. They mysteriously dropped a bunch of rules. I almost thought Google was having a change of heart. Also, check Tism Chat. Have to show you something. Okay, I'll check it out after the show. And for those of you just joining tonight, we've got lots of news to discuss. There's also a makeup stream for Saturday. I had Ode raid a stream where I play a little bit of raid and uh, I get people to try the game. If you're just listening in the background, there's a link in the description and in the pinned comment. Um, I would greatly appreciate it if you gave the game a try. It's absolutely free and it supports the channel. And they've been a strong sponsor, so... Pick up your phone or on your computer, click that link, get through the tutorial, play a little bit while I'm yapping. Um, now, the Jordan Peele comment is, I think there's like two main narratives around this. That artists should be able to make a choice, which is juxtaposed by the obvious double standard, right? So you have a situation where Jordan should be able to hire whoever he wants, right? Absolutely. And if he chooses to hire only black actors, that's his choice. However, we know that if the if the race if it were a white director saying I'm not hiring any black people, how that would go? You know what I mean? So you have to pick one. Either the director can hire who they think is best for the job, or artistic creativity should be trumped by diversity quotas.
I don't care if he do, if he doesn't want to hire any white people. But then I better not hear. Oh, has four thousand likes. But he also has a white wife and a mother. But like, then Hollywood better not like Hollywood better not tell white directors how many POCs they're supposed to hire. Why is that? Why is it so cr crazy? Seems pretty racist. Yeah, I would agree. In terms of Jordan Peele's work, by the way, this I don't think is a hot take. Get Out was good, not great. Us was bad. His Twilight Zone stuff was bad. Um, nope was only okay. I just I don't I don't get all the praise. Can you stream on Rumble? I, I yes, I can. You should replace Lofty with a black dude. How do you know Lofty's not black? The ending of Get Out was sloppy. Um, people seem to really like it, but, you know, I, I don't know. It was a good movie when I saw it at first, but, like, you know, the more... I've never gone back to watch it again... It's just not that kind of movie. At least not to me. And I, this is another topic from today that I didn't actually cover in a long form video, but the Oscars had actually asked Chris Rock. I have a, I have a take on this. I'm wondering what you and chat would think. Chris Rock was asked to host the Oscars in 2023, and he responded by basically saying no. I'm not sure that that is awesome. Quote, the everybody hates Chris alum told the crowd that he was going back, going back to the Oscars would be like asking Nicole Brown Simpson to go back to the restaurant. Eh, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Where she left her eyes before she, in a reference to obviously OJ, his rejecting hosting duties would have come a year after Will Smith walked the stage. What would have, would have come a year afterwards? Um, I think he should have did it. And then he should have mercilessly, hey, 67, someone just finished tutorial. Need 33 more people to finish tutorial. It's going to happen. I know it. Um, I had bad news today too. I don't know if I told you guys this, but um, you know, I'm on I'm on Starlink right now, and it's manageable. In 720p, it's totally manageable. Uh, but but Spectrum told me, oh, we can definitely service your address, and I was like, no, I know you can't. I had somebody come out, and you know, they said they couldn't, and they're like, oh no no no, it changed now. We definitely can, and I was like, okay. But, of course, as expected, they came out and they could not. So, Starlink is the best I have. And you know what? I guess I shouldn't complain. I'm live streaming to 900 people and the lag is acceptable. And Starlink's only going to get better. So, you know. So, I think... He should do it, but give nothing but base take misogynistic jokes and just dump on Will Collie, Ricky Gervais style. Um, I, I definitely think he should have did it and made like innumerable ball jokes. Hey, what tutorial? Oh, the, I have a link in the description. Once you finish the tutorial, let me know. Where is your beautiful Sydney? Beautiful Sydney is on Tuesday nights. I don't know what I would have done here. I, I think I, I would have done it. Uh, I would have done the stream for sure. Let me ask you what you think about this. 
a day before we saw all these, uh, you know, a day before the news broke that Google said Truth Social couldn't be on their platform. A day before that, they run, they run this. Trump's True Social reportedly owes over $1 million in backdated payments. What does that even mean, backdated payments? I'm sorry, Thursday night, Sid is on. Yes, correct. Look. Look. Okay. Here's the thing. You're an important channel sponsor. I'm here trying to provide some entertainment. I don't really want to take any shit. Okay. So like, don't watch then. That's okay. I'm literally not talking. I'm talking about social media and whatever. So like, don't be a dick, you know, don't, don't, uh, don't whine about it. There's like a million other shows you can watch right now. Part of being content creator. I mean, sometimes you gotta, you gotta like, you know, pay the bills. Okay. So, you know, it's definitely a BS story. Trump does not deny payments unless you breach. Yeah, it seems unlikely. And like it says, Truth Social owes owes approximately one point six million to technology company RightForge. Fox Business reported last week. The company built as a right-wing internet hosting service without the big tech censorship provides through social's internal infrastructure. Let me ask, here's, here's, um, I, I'm, I'm certain there are people, uh, I'm certain there are people in the chat who work it technology. Obviously, you know, I've hosted some pretty big websites, websites that have traffic that probably are equal to, or close to like true social. The fact that the fact that I'm not sure how they could rack up 1.6 million in debt. You know what I'm saying? Like 1.6 million in debt in like six months. What were they paying for? Were they spending money like he was still the government? Yeah, but the pro I mean, what ca- I mean, to build what is essentially a worse Twitter. And by the way, that, that these are just people that host it allegedly. Calix OS, is that what that is? I was mentioning that in the video. Like, I know there's got to be some like open source cell phones out there. (laughs) Nice. They want to stop Trump to only get a better candidate in DeSantis. I actually think that the mainstream media, if, if, uh, if I had to guess who they would prefer to run, it would be Donald Trump. And there's like two reasons why one, I think that they believe that someone else just finished the tutorial. Thank you. We're at 68 out of a hundred need what? 32 more. Uh, Wait, Carter promised only have one show. Has he broke his promise? His plans. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I I think that if, if the mainstream media was picking, right? It would be Trump because he's better for cover. He's better for fear mongering. Uh, he's also more beatable. I don't think they want DeSantis to run because he would crush. Like he's he would guaranteed win. It wouldn't even be close. So I think that they would much rather Trump run. They get better ratings and they get a candidate that is more beatable. I think that Right Forge leaked this, but $1.6 million seems a little sus.
a little sus. The kernel level breach of Genshin anti-cheats? No, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, that's the media point of view, I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if he would win or lose, but I think that the media would feel like they have a better chance against him. DeSantis is like Trump in many ways, but without the gaffes. Oh, there we go. No, another satisfied customer. Meta PCs, remember, code quartering. Double grift. Tri Actually, this is a triple grift. This is Meta PCs, code quartering, on a Raid Shadow Legends stream, talking about coffee brand coffee. Take that, Rakeda. Take that, Rakeda. Coffee brand coffee spike jack lantern is better than Starbucks pumpkin spice. Hundred percent agree. I mean, it's literally just nutmeg. I've got a, I've got a mug of jack o' lantern right here. That's a griftception. Hey, thank you, uh, Volky. Now I just need, what, like 30 more people to get through the tutorial. Then we can play together. This, the, Star, the Starbucks stuff is weird because, like, I'm a sucker for the pumpkin flavors, and you're going to love. You're going to love Spike Jack-O-Lantern. Just going to love it. I'm, I, pro I give you my word. Jeremy trying to reach the Grift God level. I don't know if it gets any better than that. That's a triple grift. Uh, if you heard about Dish Network trying to move in on Starlink's territory and Elon was saying it could cause problems, hopefully it doesn't cause you any problems. Yeah. I mean, I'm still hoping that Spectrum will come back and say... So initially when I moved in here, I have like a, a long private road, essentially. And I'm also out of their service area. And they have... They basically said, hey, look, um, we're not going to do it. And we're not going to even, and sometimes you can pay them directly to do it. And they're like, we're not going to do it, period. And so I was like, crap. Okay, well, Verizon said they would do it, but it was going to cost me like 50 grand plus $2,500 a month for internet, which, you know. But then, so Starlink came along and Starlink has been fine. Um, way better than Viasat. So, um, yeah, they don't want money. I think the weird thing was with Spectrum is I, I knew that I was going to have to pay. And I was like, what if I pay you guys like 30 grand to run the line? You still won't do it. And they said, no, the reason I would put, the reason I would pay that money is because the service is like $89 a month versus Verizon's gigabit is like $2,500 a month. Um, now that's a gig up, gig down, unshared, asynchronous line, which I don't necessarily need. Um, but it's the only high speed option. So Starlink is, you know, you're seeing it. That's good. And it'll get better. I'm on the business plan, and they're supposed to be getting two to 400 down, which I have seen over 200, nowhere near like three or 400, and uh, 20 to 40 up. And the up is almost never over 20, but sometimes it's close. It's more commonly at like 10 to 14. But that's, again, plenty for uploading videos to YouTube. The latency is what makes it uh, actually possible to live stream. The low latency on Starlink, because they're not geosynchronous. So do you think that the truth social thing is bologna sausage? By the way, Maggie is in tomorrow and the next day. She's going to fix the set. Literally the most important thing I had to unbox was my NES collection. And so I threw it all up on the shelf.
I should switch to Verizon Wireless for internet, getting two to three hundred down and twenty to thirty up. Yeah, that's five G. I'm not. I'm right on. I'm on like. I'm like the hair away from the nipple on five G. So my thing was by next year I'll have five G, which is a solid backup. Oh, the server space and bandwidth. I guess they're charging for bandwidth. Get in True Social mainstream is scary. Get on board. I'm on True Social. I've been there since I bought an iPad just to create a True Social account. And then the freaking web version came out like two days later. <laughs> what the f Hold on. All good. Ow. All good. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It was an Amazon, Amazon driver. No, no, it was all good. All good. Um, I just heard a, a car alarm, like beep. You know, like beep beep. And I was like. Normally when people are like delivering a package, they don't like lock their door. They're just running up to the door and, uh, you know, get off. He planted uh, a package. Yeah. Yeah. It's wanted by Amazon. Yeah. No, 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 no. I should have. This is weird. I heard. I heard the door lock. I knew it wasn't SWAT. They wouldn't have like beep beeped their doors. Um, but I thought it was. Okay, I'll put it this way. Uh, hopefully, there's. Since I moved in, there has been a lot of family stopping by. And and I am not I am not a big poppin' guy. Coffee brand coffee should sponsor Lotter with Crowder. I talked to Steven about that. I don't think I can afford it. I imagine that's big money. I imagine that's big money. Is family code for ex-girlfriends? No. I am a recluse. I don't like anybody stopping by ever. I get my DoorDash delivered. They deliver it to my door. I tell them to leave it. I don't want to talk to anybody. I just, I get my groceries delivered. They leave it at my door. I wait for them to leave. I go get my stuff. Hey, <laughs> we're at 69 out of 100 people have completed the raid tutorial. And the quicker we get to 100, the quicker I can stop, you know, talking about it. So that's, you know, that's a thing. I do like pop tarts. Yeah. I don't like the pop in. Pop tarts. Yeah, S Steve, I saw it just got through. We need 31 more. We have 659 people. There's a link in the pinned comment and a link in the description. Try out the game. Shorts, no contact, no context, no context equal anger. Anger goes power, power, and that's power. Yeah. Lots of dead air. Maybe read the questions out. I am reading questions. What's up with Gavin? Okay, so... I have heard... 
that it's fake. I have no proof of that. None. Oh, damn, out man. Jesus, thank you. If you're on Starlink, you has got some work to do, my friend. You're pixelated as AF. Yeah. I know. It's gonna make it's gonna make live streaming more difficult, but it's supposed you know it's gonna keep getting better. So as long as it keeps getting better, you know by the end of the year. Right now I stream uh, with Bering and Dankil on Wednesdays, but that's audio only, so that's totally fine. And then Thursdays with Sid, and the last Thursday seemed fine. Uh, I'm not sharing the internet with anybody in the house, but it could be, let me see, close a few things. It like literally might be that a battle. It might be battle net, like doing updates. Okay. Where did I get my hat? Same place. I always get my hats. They're all made by like the, um, yeah, Sarnka is definitely better than the other options. Yeah, it's fine. I'm streaming at 720p, relatively fine. Um, by the end of the year, I think I'll be able to stream at 1080p. Cause, yeah, because they're low Earth orbit. Close Chrome. I don't use Chrome. Um, so what else is on uh, everyone's minds from today? Today seemed like kind of a... Today seemed kind of like a slow day. Quartering, do you play games... Uh, I do play games on PC mostly. Am I encoding at 12 megabits? Try dropping it. See, it's something like five. Uh, it's I'm using StreamYards, so normally I would use StreamLabs where I could control that. So th I don't think I can control that in StreamYards. Looks fine to me. The quality issues aren't just on your end. Sometimes it's us. We have Wi-Fi or poor phone data. Oh, yeah, that's true. Thank you, by the way. In terms of sponsoring other YouTubers, uh, every time I've done it, it's I've lost a lot of money. I don't know how brands do it. Um, I suppose repeat ads over time work. All right, we're up to seven. We're up to seventy. Thirty more people, and then we'll play together. Do you still do RC stuff? Yep, I just got back into it. I bought a X Max and a. Sledge. Thanks, Alabama. Hey, Alabama, Brad. Coffee Brand Coffee has not a coffee flavor, but Jack O' Lantern. Jack O' Lantern. If you get to ninety, you pass go. Advertising is mostly useless and way overvalued. Um, well, I don't know about that. I mean, I, you know, I think I just had to figure it out. You know, I paid. So my the YouTubers that were my friends usually gave me a discount, but I tried to pay. What's up, uh, Ramel? Uh, I I tried to pay a competitive rate. So sometimes I paid like fifteen hundred or two grand or three grand for an ad, and um. All I wanted to do was break even because I, I knew once people tasted the coffee, they would, uh, they would be strongly likely to buy more. But very few creators did it really get close. Um, now, the targeted PPC ads that I do, like on Tim's show and stuff like that, the pre-roll ads, those actually work pretty good. Um, I have it paused right now because I'm trying to save up money for Christmas. Why is Manslave Mersh asking people to flag your channel? I wouldn't know anything about that. You got a link? I think at Christmas time, I'm going to turn the advertising back on. Because I did a lot of coding and stuff for the website where like, we're actually 71, 29 left. The, um, I did a lot of coding so that we could build like gift boxes. 
and then you can like drag stuff in and, and drop it in and pick a price point. I think it's going to do really well because, you know, coffee, tea, and cocoa make a great gift, especially for someone that you don't really know a lot about or, you know. So uh, I think that the Christmas stuff's going to do well. We're also going to have um, chocolate-covered espresso beans. We're obviously going to have a lot of peppermint and, and stuff for Christmas flavored. We've got pe peppermint hot cocoa launching and stuff. So I've got a lot planned. Um, I wanted to bring up this other article quick. So Alec Baldwin's back to work. What do you guys think about that? There's, have you seen this, this trend? Um, that's weird looking. This trend of quiet quitting. Uh, Ocean Breeze Celtic 004, the dark one. Our dark roast is by far our best seller. By far. The second is probably uh, 002. And now the double calf. And the cold brew, I guess. Like first the gun wasn't loaded. Then he didn't pull the trigger. Oh, Kayla, what's up? Yeah, who's Al going to go after next? Hell yeah, 72. Yeah, there you go, Kayla. Get him. Get him. The kids are not all right, at least if not the latest not banned account. If Trump, when Trump is indicted, will Republicans be violent? No. He also won't be indicted. Bushing Rio Cat says, sorry for the cheap plug. Ordered my medium roast K-cup and K-filter now. I'd buy a shirt too if you had a certain husky bearded picture on it. Please consider making a cappuccino blend since it has milk. Right on, brother. Okay. I will consider it. Thank you for the support. Over the last few weeks, a quiet quitting movement has emerged from the bowels of TikTok. Like most things, the trend on the is on the leftist dom is leftist dominated, communist owned app is a rank combination of self self deprecation, defeatism, and destructive ideology. Quote, you're not outright quitting your job, but you're quitting the idea of going above and beyond. Explained in one TikToker whose viral video helped kick off the fad. You're still performing your duties, but you're no longer subscribing to the hustle culture mentality. I love how this is the dumbest idea ever. These are the same people that in five years are going to bitch about how everybody else got promoted in front of them. Like, I get it. I've had, I've had jobs. Yeah, phoning it in is what, what we would call it. Millennials or boomers would call it, right? I've definitely had jobs where I, I kind of phoned it in. Like, uh, I would, I, like, after you put your two weeks notice in. You know, that kind of thing. Love your content. Don't ever sell out, brother. Medium slash dark roaster choice for next time, please. Okay. Anyone else going to the Legends Casino tonight for the grand opening? I don't know. Hopefully somebody. Bottom man said, by the way, I got my big bag of 004, but there's doesn't seem to be any way to reseal it like the small bag. Any recommendations? Uh, I use those. Um, I just got a container, like a, an airtight container, and I just put the bag in there. Um, but I'll actually see if we can like offer something on the site that'll help with that. Maybe we can include it for free because... If people are buying such a big bag at least we could do is get them a chip clip um but like a chip clip isn't like that great of a seal
So these very same TikTok people that are talking about how amazing, I feel like making a video on this tomorrow because it's like, I actually get it. Like, I'm not a stooge. I've worked my whole life. Tupperware would work too. Anything that's airtight seal. I worked my whole life since I was 13 years old. Um, splitting wood. Then 14, I washed dishes. And I, I have literally never been unemployed since I was 13 years old. Not once. A Ziploc would work, but it's a big, like, five-pound bag. So it's kind of big. So... Since I was 13 years old, I've never not been working. Have I given the same amount of effort to every job? No. Like, but you're really only hurting yourself. Like, if you don't like a job and you you feel like I'm just, you know, it's not worth it because I bust my hump and I don't get ahead, blah, 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 blah. Then just get a different job. You're not doing yourself any favors picking up this terrible habit of like not giving a shit about anything, you know? And so I've been on disability for a while. Migraines suck. Thanks for the entertainment and news. I appreciate you. And that's different, obviously, being on disability, having like, you know, physical ailments or mental ailments, stuff like that. That's not what I, I why don't I put it this way? You know, I also don't consider people unemployed who are like working at finding a job too. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking about somebody who's just unemployed and doesn't care about it. You know, in one tongue in cheek video skit, a young woman models quiet quitting by sitting down at her desk at exactly 9am declaring it maple muffin Monday, gossiping and taking many breaks to discuss the bachelorette. She then laughs at her 500 call goal for the day and said, we're going to do 50. When her boss asks her to do some additional tasks, she replies, Susan, it's 2022. We're acting our wage, so don't give me extra work. This is, this is, uh, this is, this is the thing. Go ahead. I 100% support this. Go ahead. Like legitimately, go, go ahead. Because right now, you have that power. You have the power of, you know, being not giving a crap, right? And like being able to quit and, and relocate and quit again and find a different job. It's great. It's a great time to be a worker. My McDonald's is paying kids 20 plus dollars an hour. Great time. But my friends, Winter is coming. All these contractors that dragged ass working on my house, they're on my list. I'm never going to rehire them. And they got to, they got to drag because they went and did other jobs and they, you know, whatever, whatever. But like, it, it's not, it's not going to be this way forever. I'm not saying that you have to be a slave to your job. I just say, I just think that quote unquote quiet quitting is really just being a petulant child. Just quit. If you don't think that the job is paying you what you're worth, if you're acting your wage, get a different job. This is the biggest Zoomer cope. Like it's just an excuse for being a crappy employee. That's all it is. It's Zoomers thinking they're so hip and cool and with it and in the nail and, and ruffles have ridges and stuff. They think they're so hip that they created this thing called quiet quitting. It's been around forever. It's called being a crappy employee. And what's going to happen is, and we've already seen it, you know, the economy is going to retract. And when you have 15 employees, guess which ones go first? And, and hey, if you're quiet quitting, then you probably don't care. You probably don't care if you get fired, right? Nice. Yeah, the double caf caffeinated coffee is going like gangbusters. Tyler, that's a perfectly adult thing to do. Instead of working overtime, I did a job search. Got a different job when they retaliated at me. 
for not working overtime. 100%, that's how you handle it. Uh, Bushiran says, uh, could the problem be way too many kids are dreaming of being YouTube content creators slash Twitch streamers? You always talk of a good job on the side, but do they listen really? No, nobody freaking listens. Are you kidding me? You know how many members of my family and like aunts and uncles, sons or, you know, sons and daughters of people that know me, their parents are like, Hey, my kid wants to talk to you. They want to do YouTube. And like. Every one of them thinks it's the easiest thing ever, and you just no. To make it on YouTube or Twitch, quite honestly, is you have to already work immensely hard, and then you still have to get lucky, and then you have to get lucky again and again and again and again, and then maybe you can think, hey, this is a career. I think that people who want to be content creators should do it the way that I did. I worked full time. I filmed my videos before and after I went to work and I scheduled them for release the next day. Too many people are dumb and they think like, uh, they think, oh, I'm just going to quit my job and I'm going to grind at the YouTube game or I'm going to grind on Twitch. Why? Why would you quit your job? That's the dumbest thing you could do. First of all, for most people, when they quit their job, they fall completely out of touch. They lose the ability to connect with regular everyday people. If they're not spending time with everyday, every, everyday regular people. And when you quit your job and you're like, I'm going to be a content creator. I got to, I got to, I got to guess that that works like one time out of every hundred thousand it has to be that low but i get all these like family members and their kids they don't understand like look i'm i am not how do i put this there are youtubers that work exceedingly more like harder than i do but i'm no slouch either and like, if I have to tell another snot nosed kid that like, they're like, oh, so, you know, oh, I see you, you built a new house. That's pretty cool. 73 out of 100, 27 more. Let's go. Let's just make a push right now. Kayla's posting the link. It's in the pinned comment. It's in the description. Give Ray a try while I'm talking. Get through the tutorial. I would greatly appreciate it. The, the, I've, I, I have had a hundred like family members or friends of friends, kids or whatever the case is. Hey, would it be cool if you talk to my son about, and by the way, I do it a hundred. I do it every single time. I do it every single time. And I meet with these people and I say, this is the level of commitment that you have to do. This is the level of hard work that you have to commit to. This is the kind of data that you have to understand. This is the kind of trends you have to understand. And oh, by the way, don't quit your day job. And then I say, uh, you know, talk to me in, in, I'll say upload every day for a week, something. It doesn't have to be a video. It could be like some days you do long form, some short form, whatever. And then call me back in, in six months. You know how many people have ever done it? Zero. 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 Because what do people do? They upload a few videos and they wonder, Oh man, nobody's watching my videos. They have no idea. I've been doing this for 15 years. 15 years. You learn something. You know, and it's not easy. But you know what? I could not. change a carburetor. I could not, I cannot put in cabinets. I can't do plumbing. I don't have any of these other important skills. I have to pay somebody for all of that. So it's like, it's all relative.
I guess cars don't really have carburetors anymore. They're fuel injected, but I, you know what I mean? Like outside of changing a car battery and changing oil, spark plugs, there's very little, I guess some belts maybe. Anyway, you're lucky that employees even do their job. I've done so little at work before that I wasn't quietly quitting. It was technically robbing. Another TikTok user recounted after, after how she quiet quit her job, she used all her free space in her mind to no longer worry about work and start doing queer history walking tours. Interesting. I can so, yes. All that said, quiet quitting is a terrible idea that's only going to leave these young people much, much worse off. We're in a recession, by the conventional definition anyway, and while jobs are numbers, job numbers remain strong, it sure looks like that could change soon, and when it does, guess will be the first name management picks for layoffs. That's right, the quiet quitters who racked up TikTok views by not only slacking at work, by doing the bare, but by doing the bare minimum and bragging about it extremely, extremely publicly. You don't think that those people, first of all, I think most TikToks are fake. Most. Seventy-four. Most, most, most. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Most TikToks are fake. So I bet you that a lot of these people that are quote unquote quiet quitting. They're probably not even working. You don't get promoted. And by the way, you don't think if they are actually working. <laughs> what? This article is. <laughs> oh, my God. Um. Anyway. You don't get promoted by doing the bare minimum. Why would you? When an opportunity opens up at your company, the boss is obviously going to elevate the hard workers. The dedicated employees, the hustlers, not promote an entitled Gen Zer who does as little as possible. It's also Econ 101 that your productivity as a worker strongly corresponds with your earnings in the long run. Why? Well, in a competitive market, if your hustle and your employers still won't pay you for additional value, you're creating competitors have a profit incentive to poach you and capture that gain. Or they have an incentive to hire you at a higher wage if you go out and apply for new jobs at a higher level you're already then you're already demonstrating. And when businesses can make profit by doing something, you can be damn sure they're going to do it. That's why going above and beyond is, by definition, how you get ahead. So yes, quiet quitting movement is absurd to the point of hilarity, but it's also deeply sad because young people who give into this toxic, ide toxic ideology it espouses are only setting themselves up for failure and hardship. You know, I, I think, I mean, look, if you're in like a dead end job and they don't appreciate you and you need, you need to just pay the rent, I'm not going to tell you have to, you know, bust your butt every single day, but you should be, instead of making TikToks about how you're stealing company time, you should be. You should be finding other jobs where you will feel like fulfilled. You know what I mean? At least that's my opinion. What do you think? I'm not going to say you need to always go above and beyond when you're working for freaking Amazon or Walmart or whatever. Well, then you can't complain when you don't get ahead. And if you're making TikToks about it, don't you think your coworkers are going to see that and share it with your boss? Because they will. Your coworkers know you have a, a TikTok. They know you do. Because you never shut up about it. And they're going to see that. And so then they're going to share that with your boss. Right? Let 
Just my opinion. So what do you think what do you think I should do with the shelves behind me? I don't think the I don't think the uh I don't think the NES games work because of the glare. And like the font's so small that you can't really see it. Get the globes back. Uh, Phelps is good advice. Don't try to be fulfilled by your job. That's what hobbies are for. Also, I work in a law office, literally saving those TikToks for defense against lawyers when somebody gets fired. Yeah, exactly. I could put some RC back there. A disapproving Sydney Watson image. Lego and globes. I have le some Lego up here. I mean that, that, uh, Ecto-1 is Lego. Well, uh, I bought these, um, soft boxes that go over my studio lights. So I think that should fix the glare. I was going to do it on stream on Saturday, but, uh, that fell apart. <laughs> Yeah, top shelf is a bit too reflective. That's a good point. It's really just that top shelf. The other ones are fine. Actually, if I get rid of, let me get rid of this banner. Even the bottom shelves are fine, but you can't really see it. I mean, they're not lit, but I mean, you can kind of tell what they are. Oh, I should probably get a framed picture of my established titles thing for Dank, huh? I don't need a shade for the light. I just need uh, soft boxes, which I have. I just haven't put on yet. But yeah, I got to put my lordship up there. I definitely have to do that. What's up, Vincenzo? Appreciate you. Boppity boopity. Move the camera closer. I mean, I could zoom in more. But... What you're seeing now is not my overlay. So my overlay usually kind of like chops off the edges. I wanted to put, I told meta PCs that if they send me one of those new towers that they're doing, you know, galaxy lamp, you have a problem with, yeah. Um, they, they're making new towers that have like LCD screens on the side. I'm like, if you, when, when we upgrade mine, you know, if you send one of those, I'll put it back there. So I think now we'll just chat and uh, hold on a second. That's pretty loud. Da, 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 da. Hold on. Why can't I? Hmm. Okay, there we go. Too much beige paint. But the cast of Rings of Power. Okay, so Rings of Power is on in 48 hours, right? You know what I thought was kind of weird, though, is uh, my Rings of Power video today totally tanked. Where's all the interest? Kitty stream? Uh, I... Proton pack? I don't hear that. I don't hate that. I don't hate that.
So let's see what's going on here. There's a count on the Amazon page. Oh, there is? Let me look. Let me look. I mean, this is going to fail, right? I mean, I would assume that, like, I don't see it. They're shilling Samaritan right now. What does it say for you? It's okay if you're not interested. I'm just going to play while I chat to you. That's all. If that's all right. Oh, top right corner. Let me look. I just, it's not on mine. It must know that you're going to love it. What is that? This is a, uh, so you've pick two or fewer champions to, to get full stars. Oh, Amazon store page. Okay. Two or fewer, huh? I have her in a sparring pit. Let's go. Yeah, a lot of people are like, they find, you know, they find, um, you know, people have different expectations. 48 hours and eight minutes. Okay, so it'll be eight o'clock my time and two days. Um, a lot of people like, when I stream, they're like, oh, this isn't the type of stream I like. That's okay. I'm not a streamer where I like, you know, there is oftentimes dead space. By the way, if you're in chat right now, it would be absolutely awesome. If I uh, use the link in the description or the one my mod is sharing, try the game and then we can play together. Get, past, get through the tutorial. Eric says, I should start YouTubing. I don't know what to talk about. I installed and maintained POS systems and software. Maybe that. Um, I mean, there's a lot you could do with that. What about if you talked about like crazy client interactions or, you know, things of that nature, you know, certainly when you're installing POSs, you're doing training and you're doing, um, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. What game is this? Oh, well, Kayla is sharing the link right now with you. I'm up to the newest mission. I don't think so. I deal with POS all day. Ha 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 ha. I'm going to enjoy your stream. I know the shirt just is not good for stream. I'm noticing that now. Oh, Square Enix is. Um, I have not, no. I mean, there's just all sorts of stuff you could talk about that maybe you encounter about your job that isn't, because obviously talking about POS systems is super niche, but talking about interacting with people or things like that, take it easy, Adam. Uh, that also, that's all like pretty interesting. I'm playing on PC. If you use the link, uh, you can install it on your PC your f or your phones. Yeah, Pancho, uh, Pancho, sorry. I normally don't stream that much. I got my show on Wednesdays and then Thursdays with Sid. Um, but uh, doing a bit of a makeup stream. <laughs> uh, for Saturday, I, di I didn't promise Raid that I would stream some Raid. And... Um, it was a bit of a disaster. 
So I'm making up, making it up to them. That's fair liberty prime, hundred percent, hundred percent. A fi or fee? Can't do it. Have some money in your face instead. That's fair. Appreciate you. Do you genuinely enjoy raid and play in your free times? I absolutely do. Usually when I'm like, so now in my new house, it takes forever to upload videos. So like when I'm waiting to upload videos and I, I don't know, like I know there are entire YouTube channels dedicated to it. Like, so there's a lot of like meta stuff, but I just do, I just play like on a Chromebook you can't install. Really? That's odd. What about the PC version? The, uh, I don't know. I, I just find like, it's interesting to me. I, I did this, I did a stream like this last month and obviously people have their feelings about it and that's okay. Um, but like, you know, I, I, I like to use it as an opportunity just to chat with everybody. And then, you know, if I can get a hundred people to get through the tutorial while I'm streaming, then raids happy. And you guys are happy because I'm doing some Q&A. And I think everybody just wins. Chromebook runs on Chromium. It's basically a laptop that's Chrome browser plus Play Store. Okay, so, so if it's on the Play Store, you should be able to do it, right? But use, got to use my link to get all those sweet bonuses. Yeah, I've often said, like, I don't know if I'm going to, like, you know, Raid is, like, the only sponsor I would do this for. Like, dead serious, dead set. Raid is the only sponsor I would do this for. Just my thing, I prefer to game on PS5. Oh, yeah, that's, of course, fine. Good, that's fine. Um, what stories? What stories do you think... What stories did I miss today? It seemed like kind of a slow news day. Was that me or was that just me? Or did you guys see that too? It just doesn't seem like a lot was going on. Like other than like the YouTube video, you know, which was kind of a random topic. Everything was kind of nice. Use my link, get, get the game. You'll get a bunch of, I should really just be saying that you get a bunch of like, you get a bunch of in-game bonuses. If you use my link, why were the Sav fans hating? I saw that. I don't know if you're the one that sent me an email. There are a couple people. I, I don't know. Look, there are a lot of people that don't like me and it's okay. Um, the, I know Sav and I, uh Oh, I'm going to die. Sav and I get along, and, you know, I don't think she was taking part of it. Uh, Mech Arena is part of it, too. I suppose if Mech offered me, I might <laughs> try to find... I don't think I'm going to make it. Kill him on here. Okay, I've got a chance. I've got a fighting chance. Okay, my lucky charms. Uh, Okay. Oh, I needed to kill him there. I think I'm going to survive it. I think I'm going to make it. Wait, why was that only one star? Because I died? Let's run it again. Jordan Peele stuff was an old... Uh, thank you. It's free. Get through the tutorial. Have a little fun. I'm betting October surprise will be chaos within... Oh, that could be. I mean, the FBI is like... Um... Take it easy, Mountain Man. Appreciate you. If you die, you lose the stars. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I haven't really tried. I'm not like... So when I first ran through all of this, you should get Sam Hyde on a live stream. I saw you and Dink had him on your other channel. Uh, yeah, well, here's the thing. Um, Sam is a bit of an enigma. I think I just like spammed him on Twitter and he was like, oh yeah, sure. I'll come on. And like, I doubt I'd, he would ever, I don't think he would ever come on again. Like there's just, I'm not, oh, dang it.
Um, in terms of hats, uh, I've, I really want to sell my own hats. And there's like, um, I think nine line apparel will, will do that. Um, we need to go back to the bastion here. We need to upgrade. And we need to get some artifacts going here, huh? Holy crap, that's why I'm losing. Hmm. High elves, dark elves. Okay, so I only have that one. And then I have... Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's my own f fault here. I think we need... Yeah, this is going to change everything. Okay. So that's Shamrock. And then I wanted to get her. I've got her. This. You need to get off that game and go spearfishing. It's the middle of the night. Love the content, man. Catch you on the next one. Hey, thank you, Chuck Webb. Very much. Appreciate you. Tim Quadrachi, what's up? Appreciate you. Uh, rarity. Uh, Eric, no, I've never put I've never put any money into it. There's like so much in here that you could do. But the fact that if you equip shield, the shield of champion is equipped will remove your artifacts. Are, no, I have a shield already. Missing the earthbound in the background, Tim. Yeah, it's in a box right in front of me. It's in a box right in front of me. But... So, so Maggie will be able to do that tomorrow. I think I'm going to go with speed stuff here. Let's just see how this changes now. Once I've done that. You know what? One of my all-time favorite episodes of ABGN is... Like, like super easily is uh, his Earthbound episode. Like, it was so good. You should go on AOM one night. I don't know what that is. Oh, Ancient Order of Men. Here's the thing with live streams. I get asked a lot to go on them. And... I am a hundred percent like not against it. The problem is I do like nine episodes a day between my shorts and my longs, three live streams a week. You know, I've got cats and a dog to take care of. And so like, you know, I got to kind of pick my spots, which then translates into this weird, like, I can only go on big shows because it's got to be worth my time, which obviously does not look good or sound good, you know? I bought the Legendary Bottle, and number five is hands down one of the best I've ever had. Thank you, DJ. Really appreciate that. Who thinks the big man needs a better chair and a chair built for a big man? I have a big man's chair, okay? And it's not that good. The chair that I have now is a Herman Miller. And uh, 
it's supposedly the best. But one thing I did do here was, um, oh, I should check where we're at. Have we reached 100 yet? Where is it? Reach 100 people through the tutorial. What are we at? We're at 77. 23 more. Come on. We can do it. I wanted to see... I want to filter... So there are some like, when are you having kids? Oh man, you know, like this character. I wanted to play with this character too. Okay. Okay, this is the one I want to play as. But like, where is she? Why isn't she showing here? She's my only other... Oh, I know why. In the sparring pit, I think. Oops. There she is. All right, let's try this. I am in my I am in my new place now. Yeah. I'm on a I'm on a drink. I'm really thirsty. Take it easy. Moon tint ninja turtles. It's great to interact. Well, that's what I do on my live streams. Like I try to just, my live streams are just mostly about just following up and listening to my, you know, just chatting with my viewers, you know, I, you know, I've had, um, CJ, I've had all of the chairs. I mean, the chair I'm sitting on right now is $1,500. I also bought a chair specifically for big and tall people. And that didn't, that sucked. Um, why would I waste money on cups, Matt? Don't cup shame me. Uh, my cup is empty, by the way. But uh, yeah, the goal tonight was just to kind of talk to everybody and then try to try to get 100 people to try Raid. So if you're here and you're just listening, you're hanging out, there's a link in the description and pin comment. Get the game, get through the tutorial, try it out. Let me know what you honestly think of the game. Uh, Chocolate Possession says, hey man, do you think YouTube Shorts is the right response to TikTok? Short attention span is already a problem. It would have been nice to promote something else instead. Oh, a hundred percent agree. Hundred percent. Hundred percent agree. If you use my link, there's also in-game bonuses and all sorts of stuff like. Um, the thing with YouTube uh, Shorts, kind of like in response to everything, uh, it sucks. As a creator, let me you know like. Here's the thing, though. As a creator. 30,000 when you get your own in-game champion. I know I shouldn't, I should have one. Don't you think? Should I ask him for one? Um, I think that if you view them like I view them, which is uh, required work to promote your channel, then they're fine. Yeah, this champion's way better. And like, she, oh, she's got to get leveled up, though. Um, 
Hit my daily already. Final boss time. I don't know about I don't know about my chances here. Um I mean let me put it this way. Like, you know while all my all all my uh peers are whining and complaining about shorts, I gained thirty thousand subscribers this month alone off shorts. Thirty thousand. You know how many subscribers I gained last month? Two thousand total. So if even 20% of them are watching my long form content, like it's absolutely worth it. Jesse, be careful. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, Rommel says, uh, I found your channel in 2020 during the lockdowns. Yeah. I think I do fine. I think, I think my shorts, uh, I think I kind of like, I think I kind of found like my, my groove with shorts. So that way when people see them, they kind of know the type of content I make so that they're not like, whoa, like this is crazy. Uh, this I subscribed to this guy's shorts and he's like dunking on woke people and that's weird. Uh oh, I'm definitely not going to beat this level. No! Oh, shoo. There we go, leveled up. That's clutch. <laughs> you were stuck on 1.05 million subs for a year. Yeah, dude, that's the thing. Like, look, that's the reality. Like, what I think I need to do with shorts long term is like pick pick topics and do a sh one minute recap, um, so that they're like self contained videos too. But like. People don't know, like, while everybody's whining and complaining about shorts, I'm fine with it. Keep complaining. Like, keep complaining about it. Keep not doing it. Keep saying uh, how, you know, it's, they're stupid and they're not worth your time. That's cool. Like, that's cool. I do think that YouTube should take them out of people's feeds. I'm not going to beat the end boss. My, I took a big hit that round. Like, I, I think they should not be in people's sub feeds. It, they look dumb. They, they don't look, they don't fit. Like, and the, they muck up everything for people that like, you know, traditional content, short form, long form, doesn't matter. If they would just take them out of there, it would be it would they would be infinitely better received if youtube like sectioned off well i got lucky there on that resist like if youtube oh no just sectioned off the shorts ah oh, crud take no you gotta take no unkillable great got him don't you no Oh, I was so close. Run it back. Um, so, like, yeah, I would say, like, 30% of my new subs from, t from the shorts will probably watch my long form. But, like, yeah, keep not doing them. That's fine. And then, basically, everyone that complained about them when I first started doing them is, have either unsubbed or, like, gotten used to it. I upload them in the morning so they're not like distracting everybody throughout the day. I don't interrupt. Like I've really been trying to do my due diligence with shorts. We're at 79. We need 21 people right now to try out this game. That's it. 21 people to try the game out and get past the tutorial. Let's go. We have 450 people here. Seems like ad revenue is down across the board for everyone. Oh my God, it's way down. That's why I took more sponsorships this month. I would say um, ad revenue is down for me. 40%, 35%.
35%. And like, and by the way, you know, oh, by the way, this is probably my biggest month ever for views in the history of the channel. And it's still down 35%. But how's we download rate and get past the tutorial? If you use my link, you got to get through the past the tutorial. It absolutely helps. I don't get paid from it, but raid stays happy that people are trying out their game and maybe they sponsor me again next month. And maybe you like the game. Actually, I like the game. Sam Biden, Joe Harris, 2020, oh, wait, 2022. How can you have the best month and be down? It's because the average revenue per view is way down. What people, what like the recession hit on YouTube on advertising dollars long before it hit anywhere else. And the reality is people, I get my hats from Amazon. Um, I'm not gonna, oh, I'm not gonna make it. I mean like, oh, dang it. Oh, nice revive, no. If he could just take some of the hits, but they're too smart. Damn it. Your estimate is higher than that we saw on Saturday. Uh, it's, it's generally way higher than that. But remember that, you know, I pay 50% tax and I have four full-time employees. So it's a lot different than, you know, Whoa. Hmm. I just beat the level. <laughs> Thanks, Gyro. Except, okay, she leveled up, so I need to replay that, and hopefully she doesn't die. She looks said they had a 50% drop in views. Yeah, I like him. I like Doomcock a lot, but his sources are so suspect. Like, I have nothing against him personally, but he always has, like, you know, a source told me this, and it's always like, eh. Anyway, to get the green guy more aggro? Yeah, I could turn off auto. If I don't, if I don't clear it this way, I'll actually just play regular. I can just choose my attacks individually. I'm just letting it play through now because I'm, like, leveling up, but she's going to, like, the green guy is just so much beefier. Now, if she gets a revive here, we could be on to something. She stayed alive there. Nope. So I turn off auto, right? And I also have a double speed. So I can pick now. Decreased her speed. Uh, the next Watson cast is Thursday. We have a regular show on Thursday nights. Like he's so he's so beefy that I'm really trying to just get to. I really want to just get to three. I'm only using two because that's how you get to three stars. I'm just trying to three star everything. Cause you know, I don't know. Come on, Tila. She probably has to upgrade. She probably has to level up one more time.
Hey, Jeremy, did you know that the military pay rent, electricity, water, garbage, renters, insurance, sewage, and dental, all, all while on the base? They have to pay what the normal citizen pays, and they pay tax. I did not know that. Hey, Manny, appreciate you dropping in. Uh, we're doing a bit of a little raid showcase tonight. I mean, I did a regular newscast before this, but it would be absolutely amazing if you, on your phone or PC, use the link in the description and uh, picked up raid. You get a ton of free bonuses. It's The game's totally free. And uh, complete the tutorial and come play with me. I never understood that why the Taylor Lorenz joke is that she continually gets older. Oh, I can explain that. <coughs> if you download and install Raid. Holy crap, she's dying sooner than... Um... The... Yeah, defeat is right. Okay, Camden, you're good. Uh, it's because um, she is like deeply self-conscious -con about her age. You'd rather play some of the amazing NES games you have behind me. Well, I don't have as many as it looks like, but I do have some. I do have some like legitimate nuggets back there. I have some like games that you've probably never heard of, but are super difficult to find. Like games that were not popular on NES. And no, I don't want that. Games that were not, oh, dang it. Games, games that were not popular in NES, but are very difficult to find. There's a teen infuser camp mug. Use Griff, code Griff to say 11%. Hell yeah, Ashley. Gotta get that sweet 30 year old NES sponsor. Yeah. Okay. We might have to. She keeps leveling up. Let's take take a look at her. Oh, okay. Here's something. Okay. She's missing a helmet. She seems to have like... An HP problem, even though that like that equipment kind of sucks. Fifteen percent extra hit points might that might actually be enough. Let's try again. You look at their skills and know the best gear to use on them. Oh, for sure. You're hundred percent right. Whoa, what happened here? Let's get our let's get our stars here. Chubby Cherub uh, Athletic World Panic Restaurant. Very sexy game you've got for sure. Oh, you see you see him back there? I do have those. Try the new drop from Veritas. What what happened? Her hit points like still did not. Hmm. What did uh, Veritas drop? Holy crap, what's happening here? Why is she depleting so fast?
Stay alive. Dead. All right, so I got my three stars there. There's some spicy ones back here, like... What if I told you the random uh, advanced Dungeons and Dragons games are like super hard to find? They are. Here's Chubby Cherub you mentioned. You need a lot of help in this game. I know. I like to, I just play casually though. I don't, you know. All right, take it easy, dude. Go cook some dinner. All right, Lima. Send me, uh, send me an email, the quartering at Gmail. It would make sense to dial in a little tighter. Oh, it's like when they don't, they make you waste a turn. Uh, there's also... A lot of these Hudson Soft games, Adventure Island, they're really difficult to find. What's a catch with raid? No, no catch. Use my link. You get a bunch of free bonuses to start. Play the play through the tutorial and see what you like. Brandon says, "Hey Jeremy, did you know that before contracted housing and military?" It says, "Oh, that's a fun fact, Brandon." Why is there no game sound? You can't hear it? Oh, it's probably because of the, uh, the, uh, stupid, um, stupid, uh, the, uh, stream yards. Yeah. The game sound is the game sound is like fun. Yeah. I don't know how to get StreamYards to share that. Audio, mic, speaker, system. Yeah, I don't think it'll let me. Next time I'll stream. Uh... That is weird, Felix. Something's weird going on with... Uh... With YouTube today for sure. I'll make sure I, I make sure I, I'll make sure next time I stream if I if they give me another chance to stream the game I'll uh, make sure that the game in game audio is loud and clear. You know how does one get on your radar for prospective sponsor? Uh, you have to email Maggie and then she handles all that stuff. I don't really handle any of it. What streamer do you watch on a regular basis? Um, Dr. Disrespect or Asmongold, probably, depending on what they're playing. You know? Really depends what they're playing. Did we get there yet? Did we get to it? We need 20 people. I don't think we're going to hit it. I need 20 people... I'm at 80 out of 100 right now. 20 people to try the game using my link. Get all the free bonuses. Complete the tutorial. Ralph, love your honesty and fearlessness when discussing YouTube foibles. We've reached every top you, you take on. Thanks, Ralph. Where will the green screen go? I have two of them. I actually have another desk set up right, off, right up over there off camera. That I thought um, should focus on kale. Okay.
Maybe I'll just do that. Do I, I don't know if I have Kale. I have a chance. She's pretty low on on life now. I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think she's going to survive it. It's like they just... Okay, yeah. Take those hits. No, you don't. Okay. Nice. Kill there. Okay, good. We got a chance. Come on, stay alive. No! Yes! All right, we're going to get our three stars. Nice. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah. Who should I, who should you say, Kayla? I don't think I have her. Tila's a weak link. Kale. I don't know, Daniel. You could try. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm on the second floor, actually. Pain with the time of the tractor. Uh, no. Nick, try it out. My link's in the description. You'll get a bunch of free stuff and uh, get through that tutorial. I think um, that's where we're going to end up in the stream tonight. If you get a chance, use the link, try out the game. I would absolutely love it. And uh, it would help a ton. Thanks for modding, Kayla. And uh, you all have a wonderful, wonderful night. Tutorial only takes five minutes. Get in there. I don't think we're going to make the 100 goal, but maybe. We need 20 people who's here to hit it. So try that out. That would be, that would be amaze balls. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you on Wednesday with the Incredible Salt Mine and Thursday with Sydney Watson. And, um,.